Blue 42! Hut! Hut! Everybody, I'm Greg Bedard from the Boston Globe here with Super Bowl winning tight end Jermaine Wiggins, and we are going inside the Patriots playbook. On Sunday, the Patriots have a big game against the Pittsburgh Steelers at Pittsburgh. Uh, Steelers are 4 and 2, Patriots are 5 and 1, so this is a big game. Now, a lot of teams in the league have trouble with the Steelers' defense. Their zone blitz, Dick LeBeau, he's been doing it forever. But the Patriots do not. Tom Brady is 6 and 1 in his career against the Steelers. He owns that team, especially at Heinz Field. Jermaine, why don't we try to decipher why the Patriots don't have much trouble? And you picked out a play from last year's game. It was a key drive in the third quarter, a pass to Wes Welker over the middle. The Patriots went on to uh, score in this drive to go up 24 to 3. Game was over at that point. We see some difficulties that other teams have, like Arizona mm -hmm. last week against the, Card uh, against the Steelers tried to run the same play. They had trouble. The Patriots don't. Why, yeah. don't you, why don't you tell us why the Patriots do so well against the Steelers zone blitz? Well, here you're going to get an empty package. Now, what empty is, there's nobody in the backfield. Just Tom Brady's going to be here by himself. That's empty. So what that does for an offense is now it's going to limit the defense on what they can do. Some defenses have an empty automatic where they're going to blitz. Some defense say, all right, you know what, we're just going to play zone. You mean and, automatic, an automatic call? An automatic call and say, okay, if they go empty, let's blitz them. Or if they go empty, let's just play a soft zone, three, four-man rush. And what the Patriots are able to do by getting an empty, it's able to define the coverage or the blitz that the defense is going to show. And last year against Pittsburgh, what they, were able to, what they did is they brought this guy and they – they walked him down, and then they blitzed him. They brought him inside, brought him, brought him, and they dropped off. This was um, James Harrison. They dropped him off, and Wes Welker runs a route right over the ball. Julian Edelman runs an out route. I believe this was Brandon Tate. He runs an in route. Um, Woodhead runs an out route, and he runs a comeback route. And so what this does for Brady's, it's allowed his, him to be able to decipher the coverage and see what it is. He makes a big throw and catch over the middle to Wes Welker, but it's because of them being in this empty set where when you look at it from, a, from an offensive standpoint, you know if they blitz now, there's a guy that's going to be hot coming off the edge, whether that's Welker or whether that's Woodhead. And that makes it much more easier for the Patriots to now decipher. And what it does, it puts a strain on Pittsburgh's defense because when you got a guy like Brady back here who can see where things are coming from, he's able to now hit the open guy. Against Arizona this past Sunday, very same formation, empty package. Arizona brought this guy off the edge, hit Kevin Cobb, and it was an interception to, to Ryan Clark. I think that's the difference in what empty does, but it also depends on the guy you have back here, number 12. And when he's back there... He can see a lot of different things, evaluate it, and that's why you see them spread out Pittsburgh because that's what you want to do against a 3-4 team. Have to make linebackers now have to cover, have to drop and play zone, things that they don't necessarily do on a consistent basis. Mm, and that's kind of you know what we saw last year. Harrison is not going to be in the game, mm -hmm. unfortunately, for Pittsburgh. He's got the fractured orbital, orbital bone. He's out for a couple weeks. He was a complete non-factor yeah. last year. He was in coverage most of the time. Troy Polamalu, who was Defensive Player of the Year, we barely heard his name called because the Patriots kept him in coverage. Do you think, Jermaine, is there anything that the Steelers might do? Because obviously they know mm -hmm. what Brady's yeah. history is. They're going to have to do something to change up. Do you think they – is there any way that they, you know, br just bring more pressure yep. and just – well, well, I think the thing that they do, what's given, what's given the Patriots and Brady problems this year, is bringing pressure and hitting Brady. He's been hit a few times. He's been sacked. So what you have to do is if you're going to bring this guy, now you want to bring him off the edge. Instead of dropping Harrison like they did last year, bring him off the edge. Maybe you bring, you bring the linebacker up in the A-gap, you bring a double A-gap blitz, and you look at it that. Paul Amalo comes up, plays man-to-man, -man, and they play man across. That's, I think, what's the biggest thing you have to do because when you do go empty, you only have one. One, two, three, four, five blockers. And that's the thing about empty where, from an offensive standpoint, sometimes you got to get rid of the ball quick. And what do you want to do? You want to try to get rid of the ball quick, but if you're a defense, what do you want to do against empty? I don't think you want to sit back there and play zone. I say, you know what, hey, let's get to Brady. Let's try to put pressure on him, put people in his face, and hopefully they can't get the big play. We get to him before that because they've had some issues with being able to keep Brady upright. Yeah. Well, like you said, 
Tom Brady is kind of the X factor in this. We saw the same thing in the Super Bowl against the Packers. Aaron Rodgers yep. was able to do the same sort of thing. You've got to affect this guy. Yep. Or the top quarterbacks in the league are going to carve up even a, a, a team like Pittsburgh in the zone blitz. So, all right. Sounds good, Jermaine. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week.